The weather did create a change in plans for the Manhattan Fire Department's annual open house today, but it didn't stop hundreds of people from spending their day in the life of a firefighter. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi tells us all that people got to experience. Although the fun had to stay inside, there was still plenty to learn for National Fire Prevention Week. But the firefighters say it was more of a way for them to give back. It gives us a chance to connect with the community. Um, it's very important to us. Without the community, there's no fire department. Uh, so we like to bring them in and uh, show them how proud we are of everything we have and also educate them about fire safety while we have them here. Kids got a taste for what it's like to take a step in firefighters' boots. They tested their strength by trying out a firefighter rescue. The Junction City Fire Department lent this fire safety house to teach kids what to do if they're ever caught in a fire. Because you don't want to feel the doorknob because it's brass, so it could be really hot. So feel it, please. So crawl to the door and feel it with your hand to see if you can get out. If it's hot, then go, then crawl to your window and see if you can open it and get out. But there's one truck that may catch your eye, and it's not just because of its bright green color. This is the Oshkosh Striker truck. It's new this year, and it's used for airport and rescue firefighting. This truck holds more water than a typical fire truck, along with a special foam and a dry chemical agent. And a family favorite, the department's mascot, Frankie the Fireman, was there for all the fun as well. In Manhattan, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. And the National Fire Protection Association says four out of five deaths do happen, fire deaths, that is, happen at home. That's why the department says it's so important to educate people, especially kids, on what to do if you're ever in an emergency.